people might be wondering why um, I would post something like I did um, about the cops coming to my house um, like that. Um, I've been, that seems like a minor incident, but it's one of many. And um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm kind of racially ambiguous. <laughs> um, I'm from Central Asia. Um, because of the geopolitical situation in the world and um, the geographic realities of my family, it has been difficult for me to establish a nationality. However, I am an American citizen. There are gaps in my record. They are not crimes that I committed. Um, I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but uh, my first documented um, proof that I was in the United States was in 1970. Um, where they have my um, DNA and fingerprints. However, my birth certificate says that I was born in 1972. I've been over this with the feds, and they have told me that I have a right to continue using the identity that I was assigned through rehoming repeatedly in childhood that centered around the town of Bloomington, Indiana. My first records, as existing on the planet that anybody knows about are those fingerprints and DNA that were reported when I went missing from a foster home in Indiana in 1970. The locals refused to take that case. They figured it was a case of, you know, locals doing things the local way. Um, but the criminal justice professor that I was living with um, saw it a different way and felt that if this was a community thing, then the community would have told him more about who I was to begin with and why I was removed through the back door without telling anyone. Um, I was eventually assigned parentage to a couple that I had that day witnessed shooting heroin in the back seat of their car and having sex, and then they wanted to evade detection from someone, so they threw me out the car window while it was moving, and I got a compound fracture in my arm. And Becky, who I later came to call mom, then said that she could not pretend that she did not see a bone sticking out of my arm, and so she had to report the incident. She told them a story about how I'd been left there by um, another woman who may or may not have been claiming to be my mother for the purpose of babysitting and that she never came to get me. Um, that woman had previously been told by the community that she could not have a person of my appearance in her home because it was upsetting the established social order. And so I was dropped off with um, this other family, which wasn't a family. Um, Becky had married Gary so that he could get more, you know, family pay from the military. They had never lived together. Um, you know, he was her heroin connection, and, um, you know, they screwed sometimes, as I saw. Um, he was a bush. He would not be railroaded into paying for a child that was not his. Eventually, I became an Odin. Becky married a man who she was hoping that she could get to legally adopt me and that she could divorce him and then he would be responsible for me. He had more connections and kind of kept her enslaved <laughs> for about 20 years. And um, I later found out that he was the only um, suspect in a string of child abduction murders that happened in the late 70s around Westlake Arms in um, Indianapolis. That um, when they found the van that had been described used, um, it was registered to a foster child that had gone missing from Bill Oding's father's home, who's also named Bill Oding. Um, they were um, foster parents throughout the 60s. Um, 
during which time numerous children died in their home and at least two became pregnant. Um, at that time, the Catholic diocese was responsible for all um, foster children, all orphans, and they had been since at least the turn of the century and probably for um, at least 10, 20 years prior to that. Uh, they lost um, their contract with the state in the late 70s um, because the children's home, which was also here in Bloomington, um, was found to contain feral children with no documents. This was never pursued because there were no documents, and the children themselves just sort of disappeared. They didn't, like, vanish. They were given out to people who were cooperating with the community, such as prostitutes. And it was intended that none of us would um, re-emerge from the miasma of problems beyond resolution.